Drone's ready. Gladys is ready. Let's go fly. Let's start with black box. There doesn't seem to be too many options on this. It just seems to be able to record audio and your flight log. Focus mode is the best, I think. Uh, you basically choose whether you want it to point at your device or choose a point of interest from a map and the camera just keeps pointed right at it as you fly. As you can see, it breaks pretty hard. Not a lot of settings on this one, but that's probably why I like it. It's so simple and easy to get great shots with it. With Hover, the drone stays in one spot as the camera follows you around. I can see how this could be useful, but it's certainly not my favourite. Benny Hill music. Uh, this is quite fun, but um, it seems to be more of a novelty. I guess if you're driving in a car, it'll be fun. As you can see, there's enough settings for you to toggle, and it's uh, a bit of a hassle to have to carry the controller with you walking or on a bike, say. But if you're driving in a car, it seems to work fine. As you can see with Orbit, you can set the altitude and distance and the drone will just circle you clockwise or candle clockwise. Only problem I found with this at the moment is it doesn't allow for wind. So in this case, you can see it flies really fast with the wind, but then when it has to turn around and go back the other way, it actually struggles to go. So the speed actually changes as it goes. Hopefully the developer can fix this before this is released. Zip line or cable cam if you're coming from the solo, it's supposed to go from point A to point B. You can set set what point A is, then set what point B is, and set their altitudes and toggle the position switch to either A or B depending on where you are and it will fly to where you toggle it to. It kind of doesn't really work too well. I don't know, I'll keep playing with this. I couldn't get this to work at all the other day and I kind of got it to work but the camera kept pointing down a lot of the time. 